or welcome back. This is Kiki from The Flaunt Files and I'm here to deliver a new video. I was a little late. I hate when I'm late. I'm like the put you on type person. This video is actually a first impression on Gorilla Snot. So if you actually haven't heard of it, make sure you make sure you give me credit for putting you on. So I wanted to see if the hype was really, really for a legit reason. But if you have heard of it, I'm sure you already know the deal. This is basically some super duper strong gel that's meant to like last pretty much the duration that you uh, wear it. So if you want to see how I got to this wash and go with the Gorilla Snot, stick around and thanks for stopping by. All right, let's get to it. So before we get started, we're using the lock method, a liquid oil and cream leave-in conditioner. And of course, the star of the show, Gorilla Snot. I'm using the punk yellow on my left and the purple sport on my right. We'll see who wins. I explained later that I recommend you doing this on freshly washed hair, but because I'm not, I'm just going in, I'm detangling before I go ahead and add my liquid, which is the water. This will just help saturate the hair and loosen up your curls. You can use a comb to detangle, but if you're trying to be a little bit more delicate with your hair, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But go ahead and saturate your hair and get it really nice and soft and apply your, apply your oil, which in this case, I use a coconut oil just to help um, lock in that liquid moisture that I just added. So go ahead and just get that through. Again, you can use comb and add more liquid just to kind of pretty much listen to your hair and see what your hair needs and wants. Now I'm applying my cream leave-in conditioner and it's a cream based meaning it's not super thick so this should be fine when I go ahead and apply this crazy Gorilla Snot Gel. You guys this stuff is super thick as you can see. It was kind of fascinating to play with but yeah so it is pretty thick and it smells amazing. I mean it was intense. But anyway, go ahead and start kind of patting your hair around the surface because it's so thick, it's kind of hard to work with. And then work your way in. I sped this up, of course, so you can kind of see how I did this. And then go from there. Start adding water to it if you need to because it is quite thick. Um, but again, just listen to your hair. It's going to be based on the needs of your hair. So it will be relative to you. So I definitely had to add a lot of water as I went because my hair kind of just, it, my hair is really thick and it just needed it. I applied gel actually two more times, um, but you just wanna make sure you coat every single strand. And so I went in and I shingled my hair just to ensure that I did that. So pretty much you're just taking small sections of your hair. I start from the bottom and work my way up and then just kind of shingle your hair and apply the product and making sure it covers every strand. Once you feel like you have all your strands covered, you can actually move on to the next section of your hair. But before you do that, a quick tip, I actually like using a black hair tie just to kind of secure and tuck everything away instead of a hair clip. That way it's kind of tangle free. And then you can move on to the next section with the purple gel. And it is blue actually in the bottle and it has the same consistency. And it also has an interesting mint scent, y'all. I don't know what that's about, still trying to figure it out. But anyway, go ahead and move on and proceed by applying the gel throughout your entire section. Keep in mind y'all, I do suffer from heat damage that I've mentioned in a previous video. So if you also have heat damage, you will get that stringy effect, but hopefully it's in a place where you can kind of camouflage once it all dries, which mine is. But anyway, continue with the shingling method throughout your entire hair section. And just like we did with the other sections, use that black hair tie to secure it away and move on to the next section until you're all done. So yes, after two long hours, this is what my hair looks like. It looks dry, but I guarantee you it is not. The roots are still quite wet. Um, but that's what the purple sport gel looks like on that side and the yellow punk gel on this side, which I don't know if you guys can tell here, but I did get a little bit more definition in that back lower portion. But with both gels, so far so good. Okay, so about two more long hours later, yes, I gotta shake it out so I can get some air to pass through my roots. Because you guys, it takes forever for my hair to dry. You have no idea. And I'm gonna show you in just a moment that my hair is still actually very 
wet at the roots four hours later. So at this point though, it is ready for me to tie up for bed. So I'm using the pineapple method and I'm actually using the scarf just to prop my hair up and then using a black hair tie to just kind of um, gather it all together. Then I'm taking the scarf off and I'm extending it and then I'm using it again to actually wrap and protect my entire head and then off to bed. Rise and shine, it is now time to take down your hair and see all your hard work. I'm actually going through my roots just to ensure that everything was completely dry, which it was, and I was so happy about that, y'all. But in the case that it isn't, you could definitely use a diffuser to speed things up. But because I was good to go, I'm taking that nozzle attachment and I'm sectioning off my hair in smaller sections. And I'm actually going to elongate my wash and go. And this is optional, you don't have to do this, but you wanna focus on your roots if you are gonna do that. And like you saw before, just slightly and carefully detangle your hair and focus the nozzle at the roots and use a little bit of tension with mid to high heat not too high and you'll see kind of what's happening here and again it's optional but that's what my hair looks like when it's stretched and that's what it looks like when it isn't Okay guys, there you have it. This is my hair completely stretched on both sides. And I have to say, overall, I'm very impressed. Two thumbs up for this gel. I do have a favorite, which happens to be, drum roll please. The yellow one, of course. Overall, the yellow one just has more definition, although both of them have a hold of 10, which is kind of weird. This one defines just a tad bit more, I noticed. And this one also has like a minty scent to it, which I like mint, but not in my hair. And I don't know if perhaps that has like a drying effect maybe on the hair. That's just my prediction, I don't know. Um, but also too, it has a cooling effect as well, which makes sense that it's called the sport gel. So this actually might, do really well during the summertime. I don't know, you should just try it and see for yourself, but I'll probably end up using this for my edges or to slick down my bun styles, and this will be my go-to for my wash and goes. I'm still gonna be loyal to my Eco Styler gel, but this, now that I know, I actually love it. Now, one thing I did notice, a con rather, um, was that they both flaked. This one actually flaked more. I believe that might be due to the fact that I was actually working on like three day old hair. So I would highly recommend you actually use it on freshly washed hair. I'm gonna try that next time and deep condition hair and see if that maybe makes a difference. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys can tell just a little bit. There's a little bit of flakiness and I already have dandruff at it as it is. I don't need any extra flakes. You know what I'm saying? I know it's winter, but I don't need no extra flakes. Anyway, so that's it for this First impression review on Gorilla's Nuts. But anyway, if you like this video, let me know by subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Also comment below if you have any questions because honestly, like there's a lot about this product that is a little weird and interesting. But I have to say, this is like my new go-to. So I'm really, really, really happy about this. But nonetheless, it the, the hype is real. The hype is real. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have an amazing, beautiful, blessed, and productive day. And stay fabulous and stay flawless like you already are. Okay?